God deserves our praise. He deserves our worship. You can't give him enough. You'll never be able to give God the praise that's worthy of his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you, God. We praise you for your excellency and your power. For the glory of your name, God, we give you thanks this morning. You are God. You're above all gods. There's none like you. You may be seated this morning. What a pleasure to be in the house of God. And we give the Lord thanks today for his blessings because the blessing of the Lord makes rich, adds no sorrow with it. Amen. And I appreciate the good blessings of God this morning. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with him is sweeter than the day before. God just gets richer, more full, and more complete. And the longer you walk with him and the more you serve him, the more you give of yourself unto the presence of God, the more real God becomes. He's as real as you let him be. He's as big as you'll make him. There's no limit to the size of the giganticness of God because he's omnipresent. But he's only as big or as small to you as you allow him to be. And if you'll allow him to be everything, he'll be everything. Amen. Everything that you need, it can all be found in Jesus. He's the total sum of Almighty God. Amen. It's all in Jesus. Right. One songwriter said, the fullness of the Godhead, it's all in him. It's all in him. It's all in him. The fullness of the Godhead is all in him. There's nothing quite like Jesus. He's so wonderful, isn't he? Would you give him another good praise here this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we give God thanks this morning. Well, over the past couple of weeks, we've had some kids that have kind of excelled athletically that, you know, when, when kids excel, we want to acknowledge they're excelling. See, there's one thing to be the normal, and there's one thing to excel. And every person has something that they excel in. Uh, Michael Hoskins, who's not here this morning, Michael um, has tried basketball, and he does good in basketball, and he tried football, and he did good in football. But he went for track, and he excelled. And he competed, you know, he's an elementary kid, what, fifth grade, I think. And he competed this past week on a middle school level, he competed uh, elementary school level and won, but he competed middle school level in the regional uh, meet and came in third place, competing with eighth graders. I think that's pretty honorable, don't you? Amen. Well, we had another kid this week that we were down at Glasgow and we were watching the football game Tuesday afternoon. And, uh, of course, I think there was a reason that this happened. He w got a hold of the football, and he was running for self-defense. Sometimes you got to run to protect yourself. And he got a hold of that ball, and he took off, and 11 guys with 26 feet, 20, 20, 22 feet, stomping along behind him, throwing up the dust. He ran hard, hard, and hard, and I thought he wasn't even going to stop when he got to the fence. I sent him a note, and I said, I know why you made that first touchdown of the middle school season. I would have made it too even at my age and size if I'd have heard all those big guys running behind me. And that was Ethan Carter. Where are you, Ethan? Stand up this morning. Yes, isn't that wonderful? All right, you can sit back down. And I, I looked down there and I said, who is that boy? And somebody said, that's Carter. First guy I thought about, Sergeant Carter. Gomer Pyle, and I looked at him, and he kind of resembles him. I think he resembles Gomer more, but, but anyway, that was wonderful. We were proud of you, Ethan, on Tuesday. You did a good job. And like I said, I'm not really sure he made that touchdown or he was running for his life, but anyway, the points went on the board, and that was the only score we had for the game, and you did a wonderful, wonderful job. We collected a group of boys um, about three months ago, and we invited them to go play basketball with us in Louisville. Competition generally gets a little bit more severe when you move up into a little bit bigger cities, and 
So we invited these boys to go and to play with us. And, of course, you know, Bryson, he had to go because if I went, he thinks he has to go wherever I go. And he begged himself into the game, and we let him play a little. And, um, but we, we gathered this group of boys up, and we went up, and we competed in a 10-week league and then a tournament, and we came home with first place in the league and in the tournament. Do you think that's pretty good? I, I think that's pretty good. So I, I kept these boys trophies so I could bring them here to church this morning and give them to them. Amen. Isn't that great? Now, our last game that we played, I'm going to tell you, they had more speed than we even imagined. We came out of the game. If I'm remembering right, we were down 11 points at halftime. All right, I got the right game. We were down 11 points at halftime, and Byron said, What are y'all doing? Bryson said, they're fast. Well, you know, the only thing you can do when they're fast, you either speed up or trip them. So our boys decided to speed up. And they had three little black boys that could run. You didn't see anything but a streak. They could move faster than you could imagine. And uh, somehow, we put the giant out there in front and we told him to block anybody that came, and he thought that meant football. So he didn't get along very, very good on that. But Austin, come up here this morning. Austin was one of our players. <laughs> Ethan Carter was one of our players. Hand them the trophies here. Ethan Carter was, come right on up here. Ethan Carter, Spencer Ray. Now, I couldn't get everybody that just subbed in for us, but those that were the main players, they got a trophy. Uh, Jacob Newton, and I don't think Jacob's here this morning, and I'm sorry about that. Marcus, come right on up here, buddy. And Bryson, where is Bryson? I want you guys to come right down here, and I want you to show off your trophies, and we got two more for boys that are not here this morning. Stand right out here in front of me. I want to tell you that these guys played with a lot of heart. They played with a lot of fervor, and there was only one dishonest, disloyal one among them, and that was Marcus. He is a traitor. Don't put trust in this guy. One night, we went to play the very team that I was telling you about that moved so fast, and they were short a player. And I said, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll give you a good player. And I'm thinking that Marcus has got enough sense to know that you play good, but you throw off. So we gave them Marcus... They beat us by three points, and Marcus made nine. I hated him for two weeks, but I got over it. <laughs> Give these boys a good applause this morning. All right, y'all can go down. That's a shortcut. Yeah, let me, let, me tell you, let me tell you about this, this show-off guy here. Come up here, Marcus. <coughs> Come here. <laughs> That's a big step for a little fella, isn't it? Come up here. Let me tell you what he did. Marcus comes down the court with the ball in a strategic time of the game. We need him to do something, and he does something. He loses the ball as big as a monkey reaching for a, uh, a rope and missing it. He stumbled, he crippled, he almost fell. The ball went right between the opponent's legs. Marcus run right around him, grabbed the ball, grabbed the ball and made a point. <laughs> he did that. Now, I thought that was his game highlight, but he wants me to tell you about the one that he fainted on. We had to get out smelling sauce and bring him back. He was about five or six feet from the half court. The halftime was coming down to the end. 
The buzzer's about to sound. Strategic is all around us. Electricity is in the air. Marcus reaches down and throws the ball. Not a sound is made till you heard a shoo. The ball right through the basket didn't hit a rim, didn't hit a backboard, didn't hit a thing, just went shoo. right through that goal from five, six feet before he got to the half point line. I told you he's a show off. Okay, you got one you want to tell about? Okay. He did a good job. This is a good boy. Good ball player, too. Don't they, he and Jacob came here last summer, and, and, um, and Spencer and those three kids had never played ball before. And they have all three excelled and done very, very good. I appreciate you guys. All right. Robert's going to come sing for us this morning. Come out right ahead, Robert, and sing a song for us.